In this video, we will go over the various ways you can manipulate notches in PDS version 11. First, I will show you how to insert a notch on a curve by simply clicking where I want to place it. I will use Quick Step CN, which stands for Curve Notch. With the Control Point tool, type CN and click on the curve to add a notch point. Note that the curve shape does not change at all. You can also drag a notch point along the curve. Here we use the C Quick Step to drag a notch point along the curve and place it at a different location. To add a notch point at a specific distance from a reference point, we type the distance and N for notch. When we place the cursor over a section, the reference point is highlighted in blue. Here we click on the section to add a notch point 3 inches away from this reference point. You can also add notches by copying notch intervals with the Relative Another Point tool. With the Relative Another Point tool, we select this armhole section and copy the length with Ctrl C. Then with the plus quick step, which is the same as plus zero, we click on the corresponding sleeve section to add a notch on the sleeve at the same distance. It is also possible to include additional offset using this method. After copying the length with Ctrl C, type plus or minus on the offset amount. Plus one eighth adds one eighth of an inch to the copied distance. Minus one eighth subtracts one eighth of an inch from the copied distance. One way you can adjust notch intervals is to use the absolute distance plus C quick step with the segment link tool. To set the notch interval to exactly 5 inches, we select the section to adjust, type 5C, and select the notch point. The C quick step ensures that the curve shape does not change, but for curve and notch points, the C can be omitted since these points are assumed to adjust along the curve. You can also use the segment link tool to increase or decrease notch intervals. After selecting the section to adjust, type plus or minus and the amount, and click on the notch point to lengthen or shorten the notch interval. Plus 1 increases the length by 1 inch. Minus 1 shortens the length by 1 inch. Another way to adjust notch intervals is to copy an interval from another section with the segment length tool. We select the armhole section and copy the length with Ctrl C. Then we select the section to adjust, use the plus quick step, and click on the notch point. The notch interval of the sleeve was adjusted to the length of the copied section. You can also include additional offset to the notch interval. After selecting and copying a section with Ctrl C, select the section to adjust, type plus or minus on the offset amount, then click on the notch point. Plus 1 eighth would add 1 eighth of an inch to the copied section length. Minus 1 eighth would subtract 1 eighth of an inch from the copied section length. You can change notch types, sizes, and angles from the point property window. Using quick steps, notch types, sizes, and angles can be changed very quickly. With most PDS tools, quick step N1 gives us a T notch, N2 gives us an out notch, N3 gives us a V notch, and N4 gives us a double T notch. Repeating N quick step on the same point removes the notch. In order to see the notch sizes, we go to Notch Seam and select View Notch Size. To decrease the notch size, we select the notch point with the Alt key down. To increase the notch size, we select the notch with the Shift and Alt keys down. You can manipulate the notch angle using the NM Quick Step. After typing NM, click on the notch point and drag a line to define the notch angle you want. Another method is to drag the notch tip point. Let me demonstrate how to grade notch intervals by using the floating notch option with the perimeter grading tool. We select an armhole section, copy the increments with Ctrl C, select the corresponding sleeve section, click on the notch point, and select the floating notch adjustment option. We repeat for this section. Now there is no difference in increments between the sleeve and armhole sections of the front pattern.
please contact Stalkat if you have any questions.